Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if it is echoey, I just want to put a PSA out. This is going to be echoey. I'm in my spare bedroom and we have no furniture in here except for this changing table that I am currently in the process of painting. Um, so it's going to be echoey and the lighting may come in and out because I'm just using my front windows. But I wanted to do a uh, favorite daycare products and I kind of put all of them in one. I thought about separating them into several different videos, but I figure I'm just gonna put it all in one and we can go from there. You guys can just watch it and you don't have to go to a bunch of different videos to get all my favorite products. Now, when I thought about the products, um, I wanted to pick things that I was gonna use, every, that I use every single day um, or majority, of, you know, most of the week. Um, so I tried to pick things um, that I know that we use a lot of. They're not just like random, you know, oh, I use that like once a month. No, these are things that I use almost daily um, and they are, you know, they are my favorites and they are uh, withstanding my daycare kids, withstanding my own children. And um, I would, if I started all over, these are the products that I would purchase first. Um, so we're gonna start by telling you if you're new here um my name is samantha i am a home daycare provider and i post videos as much as possible <laughs> about home daycare and try to give all those daycare providers out there some information um i have been a little bit infrequent let me just tell you guys if you don't want the excuse you can just skip ahead um but i the past i would say month has been hell <laughs> sorry it's been hell um so like a month ago almost was my fiance or my husband and my daughter's birthday and then uh, let's see and then it was my son's birthday um then my grandmother had um a stroke and got really sick and then she passed away the next week um, she was admitted to the hospital and then passed away the next week. We did, it was completely unexpected. Um, and then the following weekend was her funeral, um, her visitation and funeral. So I went to that. And then last weekend, my parents moved. If you guys didn't know, my parents lived with us. Um, they currently have um, their own place now. And this was actually their room. Um, so this is our spare room now. Um, so, you know. It's just been a little bit crazy. And then uh, last week and also I was very, very sick. Um, I barely had a voice. I had a ton of congestion. I was just very sick. Um, and then this weekend I have an extremely sore throat. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, and Friday I had really bad body aches. Um, so much so I was like icing all of my joints because I was in so much pain. Um, and I still had you know six kids to take care of so it was just a really it's been a really rough month i'm hoping for a better uh next month and uh hopefully i'll be able to post more videos so let's just jump right into the products um i'm gonna start with toys and if i don't have it i will just like post a picture of it um but i'm just gonna start with toys so the number one thing i would say we use in my daycare are our melissa and doug toys and I know everybody's always like oh Melissa and Doug so great they're great <laughs> I mean I'm just gonna like echo that they are great they um really withstand um you know my daycare kids and if I had to go back and buy all new toys I would buy majority Melissa and Doug or wooden toys um just because a lot of my plastic stuff a lot of my you know a little bit cheaper items or even not cheaper i mean just my plastic stuff gets torn up it gets bitten it gets um chewed on it gets i mean it's just it gets destroyed and it's frustrating i think somebody just started mowing their lawn so um one of our favorites and i'm missing a couple of pieces they're probably in a bin in the playroom is this ice cream factory thing um, they love this thing. They play with this every single day and it just basically comes with a little scoop. It has tongs, um, a little cup. It comes with two, this one is missing, uh, two ice cream cones and then it comes with the ice creams and the little toppers and basically they can take this and they can hook it into the ice cream like this and um, 
put it on the cone. And they, sorry, I can't get it off. This toy is not for me. Um, they love this thing. They play with that every single day. The only issue I have is putting the ice cream in their mouth. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but you know, that's okay. Um, so that is one of our absolute favorite toys. I have a ton of Melissa and Doug stuff. I have a play kitchen, a wooden play kitchen. I have the wooden baby doll center. I can post the picture here. They love that thing. Um, I have, what else do I have? I have like the little dress up set. Most of my dress up items are Melissa and Doug. They're just, it's just a great brand. Um, so I would definitely say if you were gonna go purchase toys, if you have some money, Melissa and Doug is the way to go. Um, the next thing I don't have on me, but they are my Duplo blocks. We play with those every single day. They love those things. Um, I will post a picture here. I have a ton of them. Um, and they just love them. They are our absolute favorites. Um, I used to have waffle blocks, but they are not quite old enough for waffle blocks. They are kind of hard to get apart. Even for me, I have a hard time getting them apart. Um, so the Duplo blocks are nice and big. I don't have to worry about um, choking hazards or anything like that. Um, and they're very easy to clean in the dishwasher in your sink. Um, the other toy that we play a lot with are these trucks. I believe, I wanna say I got these at Walmart. I believe, I really can't remember. I really, I think I got these at Walmart. Um, but they come, they came in like a pack of four and they play with those things every day. They race them back and forth through the house. They um, run around with them. Sometimes they'll sit on them and write them. Um, so they love those things. And then the last toy are puzzles. Um, we have a ton of wooden puzzles and they just, they love these darn things. And I use these poly jackets. I've showed you guys these before. They have the little zipper. I got these at Staples and I just put the puzzle and the pieces in it so it stays all together and I don't have pieces falling out. So those are our favorite toys. The next thing I'm gonna show you are all of our feeding items. And I'm gonna start with bibs. If you saw my tour, my daycare tour, which I'm gonna do a new one because my space is completely different now. Um, I use the cloth bibs from Walmart. Those work, they're fine. However, the Velcro has started to wear out and they do stain. Um, no matter how many times I stain, treat, bleach, doesn't matter, they stain. So I have picked up some new ones and I got these at Walmart. They came in a three pack, so I got a boy pack and a girl pack. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They have the little pouch, but they're also wipeable. So they're gonna be much easier for me to clean. And these are toddler bibs, so they're a lot bigger than the other ones. Um, so these come in a three pack for like $6, I think. Um, so I went ahead and picked some of those up. And then the other one that I really like, this is actually one of my daycare uh, children's bibs. Her mom brought it. They are these and they go over their head. Um, so it really helps them keep clean and they're not able to pull it off. Um, so these are awesome too. I believe I saw this one at Walmart as well. They're a bit more expensive, um, but if you have the money, you know, purchase it. Um, the next thing that I really love, sort of, I have, kind of have a love-hate relationship with them. These are the Munchkin 360 cups and I purchased the lid separately. They look like this and they essentially just drink them like a regular cup, but it, the liquid comes out of this rim. Um, and they have to like suck for the liquid to come out. I love these for the table. <laughs> I do not love them if they try to take them away from the table or if they drop them. I have one daycare girl that when she's done with stuff, she loves to just throw it off her high chair and the milk goes everywhere and it drives me crazy. Um, so I would say maybe these for the older kids or kids who don't throw things. <laughs> um, these work really well. I got these on Amazon. I think a two pack is like $7.99. I got a bunch of different colors. And so these are great for milk. Um, for water cups, you guys know, I use the Camelback um, cups. I invested in these. I invested in a lot of them. And every time I see them at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross, wherever, I go ahead and pick up a new print. I got this one yesterday for $6.99 at Home Goods. Um, they're normally like $11.99. And so each of my daycare kids has one of these. Um, and they, this is their cup, that's it. Like they don't, we don't get any other water cups. This is their cup. I refill it mul multiple times a day. They know which one is theirs. Um, it is labeled with their name. 
um, but they know which one is theirs. And so these work great. They do not leak from what I've seen. <laughs> they do not leak and they work really, really nicely. I love them. Even my younger ones can um, open them. Uh, so I really, really love those. And then the next thing, which I actually just made a huge investment in, if you guys saw my original tour, you know that I color coded kids and then, which basically means each child got a color. And then I stopped doing that. And I stopped doing that because the kids were fighting over the colors. It was just annoying to keep up with. And now I feel like I need to do it again. I don't know. I go back and forth. You can't ever commit to anything. You just got to go with the flow. So. I made a huge, huge order of these replay, um, I don't know, dinnerware, I guess. These are really good quality. They are very hard plastic. They are from recycled materials. Um, they look like this. So I got them each a cup. I got them each two sets of utensils. I got them each a bowl, a plate, and then another like circular plate and this they will each be assigned a color and that is going to be their dishes it's much easier if the kids you know leave something on the table or um, drop something on the, drop their cup on the floor or whatever for me to know whose it is just based off of the color so i am going to go back to the color system i bought a ton of different colors and um, it was a huge investment but i think it's going to hold up well and i think it's going to be great for um, the future, you know, going forward, I think it's going to, um, stand the test of time and it was a good investment. Um, and then the other thing I actually don't have on me are the name tags that I use for all of my cups. I bought them off of Amazon. I will link them down below. Um, but I showed them to you in one of my day in the or in my day in the life videos. Um, they're phenomenal. I love those things. So I would highly suggest you purchase them and I still have a ton of them for my next set of for all my replay stuff so that is all of my feeding stuff that I really love um, you know you got to find what works for you if you're not wanting to invest a lot in things like the camelbacks um, I know a lot of providers use the take and toss cups that you can find at Walmart Target whatever they're like $2.99 um, I have not used those but I you know tons of providers um, recommend them and I'm sure they work great. Um, I just preferred to spend a little bit more and have these things last me and stand, you know, the test of time, which I'm sure those do, but I just prefer this. So the next thing I'm going to go on is, um, like all my other stuff, just like the random stuff. Um, so for cleaning, I use the Mrs. Myers lemon verbena scent. I use this all around my house, but I love this stuff. Um, in Texas, I do have to do a four-step process for sanitizing, which I use, but I will use this to like wipe surfaces, um, like my cabinets and things like that. And it really gives off a nice light scent for the daycare area. The next thing, oh, I forgot this in the feeding thing, sorry. In part, part of the feeding uh, section of my video, um, this is a little dishwasher trap for bottle nipples and for cup nipples. And so I got this at uh, Walmart on clearance for like $2.50 um, but essentially you just open it like this and you put the nipples and all that in here and in here um, and this just kind of keeps them all together helps them from getting lost and you put this in the dishwasher so that is a great product um, the next thing and everybody's gonna be like well duh baby wipes I use baby wipes for freaking everything. Um, sometimes I use it to wipe down trays. I mean, I use these for everything. Um, and a little tip to keep you kind of ahead, um, there are always coupons for baby wipes. So I always, especially at my store, I go to Kroger, um, I, will, you, I will pick up one or two packs, sometimes three or four packs, five packs each week whenever I go to the grocery store. And so I have a huge stockpile of baby wipes and I get them at a really good discount. Um, so I never run out of these. Um, going along with baby wipes um, is this wipe dispenser. So um, majority of the time if you buy like those, the refill packs, they don't come with the dispenser. And I find that to be pretty annoying. So I purchased this OXO wipe dispenser. You just put the refills in here and you can pull them up. It's a little clip, clip top like this. Um, I got this at Home Goods for $14.99. 
Um, prior to that, I was using, I don't think I brought, oh yeah, I did. I was just using this little Huggies container. This works just fine too. I just like to have a hard plastic container to contain all the wipes. I find it easier than trying to fiddle with the little, you know, plastic packaging on that one. Um, and it just will look nicer, whatever. Um, the next thing that I really love are boogie wipes. I got these on a very good discount at Target a long time ago. I purchased tons and tons and tons of them. I actually sent these out with my illness policy reminder. I sent a little pack of these and a mini hand sanitizer, which I also got on sale at Target, in with my illness policy reminder in a little baggie to the parents just to make it fun. And then I keep these up front at my check-in station so we can wipe noses, wipe faces, all that kind of stuff before they leave and when they come in. Um, so boogie wipes are awesome. You don't need these, but I do, I like them because I got them on sale. Otherwise I would just use baby wipes. Um, and then the other changing products that I really love are these little changing pads. Um, these are a little bit expensive. I think they were like $8 for 10 of them or something like that. Um, there is another daycare provider on here and I'm going to link her channel down below her name or her, her channel name is Clubhouse Kids and she had I love her channel first of all she has tons of ideas so if you guys like my channel please go over there and subscribe to her um, she has a ton of ideas ton of daycare ideas um, and she uh, recommended using um, like puppy pads um, so I I totally think that's a great idea. I still had these, but what I do with these is I cut them in half so that they go a little bit further, but you can go to the Dollar Tree and get like the pads and cut them in half and they work just as well and they don't cost near as much as those cost. So definitely go check out her channel. She has some great recommendations. She has um, just a ton of ideas that I would not even think of. You guys think that I'm a great daycare provider. She is way beyond my skill level. Um, and she has a great YouTube channel, so make sure you check her out. And then, one of the last things, oh, two of the last things. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry guys, sorry. I'm not very organized. Um, this is, goes with kind of the changing and cleaning. This is um, diaper rash cream. And I love this stuff, it's by Dr. Smith's because you can spray it. It's a spray diaper rash cream. There is, to me, I hate, like getting the rash cream and wiping it on them. Number one, because the, usually if I'm putting rash cream on, it's because they're sore and they have a rash. So me like trying to put rash cream on them just irritates it and makes them upset. Um, so this works beautifully. This is called On The Go uh, Spray 10% Zinc Oxide. Spray it, leave it, let it work. Treats and prevents diaper rash. I got them, this at Kroger. This was about $8 totally worth the money. I love this stuff. All my parents know I use this. I don't even use anything else. This stuff is phenomenal. So go get you some of that. Um, the other products that I use every day are my poly folders. You guys know I put curriculum in this and I put my puzzles in this. These things are awesome. I got these from Staples and I got these in a three pack from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to hurry because my battery is flashing. Um, one of my other products that I love and I use all the time is my laminator. This is the Scotch brand. I think this was like 20 bucks. Um, I'm actually going to get another one because this part is broken on it. Um, but regardless, it works really, really nicely. Um, and I use it multiple times a week to laminate curriculum stuff or whatever. I love, I think everything looks way nicer when it's laminated. So that's what I use that for. And then my last thing, I don't have my phone on me. I was gonna show you guys. I'll probably do a separate video like walking you through it. Um, but my last thing is my Brightwell app. Um, I used to do the handwritten daily notes and they are annoying. I was like not able to do them every day and I was getting frustrated and I was, um, you know, I didn't wanna take the time. To, I was just being lazy. I didn't wanna do them basically. It was taking a lot of paper. Sometimes my printer wouldn't work, blah, blah, blah. So I stopped doing the, the printed out handwritten daily notes and I switched to Brightwheel. Brightwheel is an app for your phone. Um, it costs me $20 a month because I have the advanced version um, and it's totally worth it. I can go in, I can put photos, I can put videos, I can put their daily, you know, what they ate. I take pictures of what they eat every day. Um, and put that on there. I can send notes to the parents. I can do a mass message or individual message to the parents. 
Um, I can do a calendar. I can do so many things on Brightwheel. Um, I do attendance on Brightwheel. It's just phenomenal. I love that app. Um, completely worth the money to me. You can also, I believe, get it for free, like a 30 day free trial or something like that. I don't know. Um, this video is not sponsored by them. I just absolutely love that app and my parents love it. When I was sending home the daily notes, they liked it, but it was so impersonal. They weren't getting pictures unless I was texting them. And they weren't getting to see what their kid was actually doing. They were literally just reading, this is when they went to the bathroom, this is what they ate, this is when they slept, that was it. Um, so this really, they really feel like they are involved in their day. They're getting to see what they're doing when they're doing it. Um, and it's also a great way for me to just communicate back and forth to them. Um, so if you are a daycare provider and you're looking for an app, Brightwheel is phenomenal. I love Brightwheel. Um, as far as my accounting goes, I use something called KidCare. Um, it's, I will link it down below. It's just great. I use that for all my invoicing. And um, that cost me, I want to say that cost like $8 a month, something like that. It's not much, um, but it's totally worth the money. So that's it, guys. Those are all my products that I absolutely love for daycare. Um, if I think of anything else, I will move on. I will put another video up of it. But this is the stuff that I use on the daily, the stuff that I really, really love. Um, and that if I was going to start over, I would go purchase this stuff first. Um, so I'm going to get back to painting this baby and setting up my new daycare space. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and all your love and support. I'm trying to reply to comments and emails as quickly as possible. Um, I am also trying to come up with a packet of all of my um, my interview questions that you guys ask about, my policies and procedures, like all that stuff. I'm trying to come up with just a packet that I can send people um, or put on my Teachers Pay Teachers and I'm, I'm trying to get it to you as quickly as possible. So um, just bear with me. I do have five kids of my own. I'm also running daycare. I've also been very sick and we had, you know, a death in our family and, you know, we're kind of moving things around. Things are a little crazy. So just bear with me. Um, I promise I see you, I hear you, I'm trying to reply as quickly as possible. I love the community that we are building here and I'm so grateful for each of you and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.